Hello everyone and welcome to this video. My name is Dan Lopez and I am the technical manager for MIS here at Trimble. For today's tips and tricks mini clip video, I will actually show you a very simple but quite helpful tool to keep control of stock and reorder for specific materials that could be relevant for your shop in particular. Uh, this may be different from shop to shop, so I'll just try to give you a couple of scenarios and hopefully that gives you a good idea of what, I, what this is about. Uh, now, from the inventory screen, let me just make this bigger and maybe actually let me just filter out and show only the items that I have in existence instead of use uh, pretty much also material on purchase order. Uh, from, from the inventory screen, obviously you can, you know, very easy from using navigation tree, uh, see the levels of materials, right? Like I can just go to my flat bar and see what I have in existence or or to any kind of consumables uh, and see the quantities that I have. Uh, but, you know, my inventory is small if you compare this to, to a normal company. And also, uh, you don't want to be remembering to check that in order to be purchasing material. So that's where the stock and reorder function comes in, right? Hopefully you have seen this option here before. Uh, if you are using it, great. If not, let me try to explain how this could be helpful for your shop to control the level of inventory for items that you never want to run off in your stock. Uh, this could be consumables, as I was explaining, or it could be, you know, still all the, uh, pretty much every shop usually buy the, the steel for their projects as, as they are needing it. Uh, you know, I have seen companies that usually keep a stock of certain thicknesses of plate uh, because they always want to have those available. Or flat bar, right? That's another good example. Like if I go here, you see it's completely empty. I can just add a new record and say that, um, you know, like trying to remember typically in my shop or where I used to work, uh, we always have certain sizes of flat bar because we will use them for uh, ba ba backing bars for welding or for extensions for welding as well for, for like penetration welds. So I can just go here and say, uh, I will be using flat bars, the size, if the memory doesn't fail me, it was like three eighths, and let's say by one and a half inch, and uh, 20 feet long. You can you can close this to a specific location in your inventory, or if you're a little bit blank, it will just you know as, as this says, it will just check in every location and tells you. Uh, now I can say like my maybe my stock is I always want to have 50. Uh, it just depends on the size of your shop, right? And I will be reordering when I have 70, for example. So I click, I click to add this and you can see here immediately that right now only I have 11. So I'm already running low in, in the existence of this flat bar, right? Now let me put another size, for example, another, uh, a, a little bit bigger flat bar. Like if I go with a flat bar, uh, three eighths by three inches and 20 feet, of course. And I'll say the stock is on a 30 and the re point of reorder 50. So if I add this record, that also shows me here that I have 22. So I should be pretty much ready to reorder because my uh, point of reorder that says it was uh, 30. So I'm uh, sorry, 50. So, so I'm already low on my levels. Now, this is a steel. I can obviously include consumables, as I was saying. If you guys control consumables in the system, uh, it could be quite helpful, especially, especially for things that you are always using. You know, like I have this uh, very simple scenario like plasma consumables, right? They can go and say, and, you know, I have some part numbers in here. I'll just create one like the electrodes, which is one of the most typical ones and say that uh, I will always need to have uh, 70 of those and the point of reorder, it's 120 at those and then again control those and it's pretty easy pretty obvious here where you are running low in the quantities that you need to have in your shop so uh, it's pretty simple to include those into a requisition or a purchase order as you can see we have the shortcuts in here so like for example the flat bars right i can just select those go and say uh, requisition and it will ask me in which requisition i want to include those uh, flat bars on i can obviously create one of, at the moment or use one of the ones that I already have, right? Like for this example, I, I will simply go in and select this one. Usually for like consumables or this kind of thing that you're always buying, it could be like a recurrent uh, requisition or a recurrent purchase order as well. So I'll just click okay. 
and that goes and sends those to requisition. Now, I, I will have to go and, you know, complete the process from that requisition for that record to be updated. So uh, let me just pull this uh, here a little bit below, go to that requisition, just to kind of prove the point, I'll open that. So once you get pricing and all of that, you can see that the flat bars are in here. I'll just move these ones to a purchase order. And to make this example very simple, I'll just select one of the ones I already have in here. So once those are moved to the purchase order, th those are part of my inventory already, right? Uh, I'm just waiting for them to be received. And as you can see, that updates uh, my screen here, right? It's not on, on that point anymore. I am already ordered, so I, I will be controlling that uh, as I am checking this screen, I can be controlling the levels of those items. Uh, now, if just an extra step in here, if you, if you are the type of person that usually don't remember to, to be checking this screen to control the inventory, uh, obviously there is report, right, that, that can show you that. So uh, my recommendation will be, hey, create an automated event. Uh, just a quick reminder here, automated events, you can create a report to be running and to be submitted to uh, anyone's email or to be saved into certain location in, into in your computer. I'll just give you an example of uh, how to do that. Like when you create the automated event report, a schedule how often you want to be receiving that report, and then in the event properties, simply just go and select the. Um, in this case, let me find them real quick. Here you go: inventory, stock, and reorder. Select the report that you want to be running, and then you select who. Uh, who in your company should be receiving this email. So that will be helping you, you know, to be, if you are receiving this email every other day, you know, at 6 a.m., uh, that can be helping you to to control. And don't forget to, to check your levels uh, of existence of those materials in a specific. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, let me know if there is any questions. Uh, feel free to contact your support area for any issues with this tool. And as always, thank you for watching.